Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this episode, we're gonna be taking a look at the Huion Inspiroid Giano tablet. They sent this for me to do a very quick review. Now, I am actually a fan of uh, normal uh, uh, table tablets uh, because I use them for a lot of the, my beginning years and it actually took me a very long time to actually get used to the, uh, to the other Cintiq monitor tablets. So I'm actually super excited to try this out and give you guys uh, my opinion on it. Let's stay tuned. Okay, so here we are opening uh, the box here. We have first the actual tablet. Uh, one of the things that I'm looking for is the construction of it, how it feels, and it does feel pretty good uh, constructing. And uh, it's pretty thin, uh, heavy enough. We had the uh, normal USB cables. We also have the pen holder that you can actually open and have all the extra nibs uh, for uh, whenever you need them. Uh, we also have, it also come with these gloves that I, I never use, but it's actually pretty nice. Uh, the instructions and we also have the pen. Now for me, I'm very picky with the pen. It has to be thick enough for me to be comfortable and heavy enough and this one it fits all those uh uh all those uh things that i like i actually like the feel of it and if you go to the website the other thing that i was looking for is how much of the pressure level it has because it that's one of the most important things that us have, as artists we need to uh we need to consider when getting uh these things and uh the size of the actual tablet is really nice and uh it's just like how much space you have to work and uh, you can see some of the uh, dimensions here. But I'm also looking at the pressure sensitivity, which is on the AK uh, levels, which is pretty comparable to most of the Wacom uh, products that, that you see and uh, you normally use. Now for installing the actual tablet is a very simple process. Once you connect it, uh, just go to this website, you.com uh, slash download. Uh, grab the actual uh, product model that I'm using, which is the Giano. Just download, open the file up, and it's a very, very quick uh, setup here and install here. So that was super, super easy. It only take me like a couple minutes. And it gives you this sort of window where you can actually edit the way it works in your computer. And so if you have multiple monitors, you can change the working area of the actual uh, tablet here. Uh, you can change the sort of settings on the digital pen. Uh, you can also enable or disable the keys on the actual tablet. And I am left-handed, so I like to have, if I ever use the keys on the right side, so you can actually flip the tablet this way, so you can actually uh, use the keys with your free hand, uh, which I thought it was pretty nice. Uh, I was a little worried that I wasn't gonna be able to do that, but, um, yeah, and you can change also the digital pen uh, actual buttons, which I use constantly. Uh, normally I have the bottom button as my right button of the mouse and the top button, I normally have it as a uh, sort of like a double click on the mouse um, setting. And so it was really nice to actually change uh, this very, very, very easily. And um, yeah, well, and that again, this is all gonna change with however you work, uh, but it's really nice that you can actually change these settings very, very, very easy. Okay, so for the actual image that I'm gonna be uh, trying here uh, using the tablet, um, you know, when I started using this, um, this sort of tablets, uh, it was, you know, this type of tablets is actually my first uh, option. I really, uh, I got like a really old Wacom, uh, I think it was like an Intuos 3, uh, 6x8 or, or 4x6, I think it was. Um, and I used, actually used that for a very, very, a very long time. Uh, a lot of years before I actually got into the industry and probably about five to six years after I was in the industry. And I never got to use during those years, during those years, just like a normal, uh, not a normal, but uh, uh, sort of like a monitor tablet you can actually draw on the screen. And so uh, I really got used to the way of using just a normal tablet. And uh, I remember the first time that I 
tried a monitor tablet, I have a very, I had a very, very hard time trying to get used to it. And unfortunately, when I first tried, it was the only option. So, and it was for about a month and I was in a workshop and it was a, a, a very, uh, at the beginning, a very painful process because I wasn't used to using it in the angle that I, that I was using it. And it took me a while to figure it out. And I actually went back into using a normal tablet like this one. And uh, a couple of years after that, then uh, I, I gave it another go. And I figured that I, for me to work on a monitor tablet, I need to have it sort of almost laying flat on the table uh, just so I don't hurt my shoulder and I feel more comfortable that way, which is very similar to the normal tablet because it's just laying flat on the on the table. And so that was sort of what I was uh, trying to figure out with this one, how it would feel with the size. Um, this size is actually a bit bigger from what I used to. Um, again, I had like, a, I think it was like a four by six or six by eight. Um, this is a little bit bigger than that, which is actually really nice. And I, I, I like that it's uh, most of the surface is workable. So uh, that's what I was trying to uh, to get that feeling first. And it, it, it was a very quick, uh, easy thing to do uh, for me to get used to it. Now the pressure sensitivity feels nice and the actual uh, pen on the, on the, uh, uh, like the texture of the pen on the surface feels actually nice. Uh, one of the, th the things that I didn't like as much was that, uh, the cable from the, uh, from the tablet to a computer was pretty short for my setup. Um, I think it's about maybe three to four feet. Uh, I'm not really sure, but I actually had to move my whole setup to the right. So I could actually uh, have the cable be able to reach my computer. Uh, but again, you know, that might be different from, from everybody's setup, but the way I have it set up, uh, since I'm left-handed, I actually need it on the left side of my setup. Uh, so I can actually use my free hand with the, uh, with the keyboard. So that's actually the, uh, the number one thing that's bugging me right now, where I have all this cable right in the middle of my, of my desk here. And it's, it doesn't really, um, it doesn't look nice and it's, it's a bit more uncomfortable from what I had before. Um, but other than that, I actually like that I can just, uh, I don't have to move my Cintiq in order for me to paint. I can just paint on top of this. And I think, you know, I, I feel more comfortable doing very quick sketches and, and things like what I'm doing here, which is, you know, very quick concepts and, and just something not to detail. Uh, using the actual normal tablet. And if I have the need to do any super detailed painting or like a really high res uh, image, then I'll probably just go back to the uh, Cintiq um, and, and be able to really look where I'm, where I'm painting and add all those details there. Um, and, and also I, I do a lot of switching from painting to 3D. And so every time I do that, I have to actually move my Cintiq, set it up into the the flatter version so I can paint. And if I go back to a two, to, to a 3D, I need to move it back into the normal uh, way of looking at it and just use my keyboard and, and mouse to do any 3D. And so I think this is going to save me a little bit of time on that switch. And so uh, uh, I'm gonna give it a go. And uh, again, this is one of those things where you know, only time will tell, you know, if this is actually going to work, you know, so far, you know, this first couple of tries is, is probably most likely to work. But as you go into your everyday uh, working process, you know, you're, you're really going to know uh, this is not, I don't, I don't think this is something, at least to me, that you're just going to know on the first try. So this is something that either I have to get used to it or, or see how, how it compares to my normal uh, routine. Um, but in terms of the artwork, um, I know... You know, AI images right now are a bit controversial, um, and I totally get that. Uh, I'm actually going to prepare a couple of videos of, of how, um, uh, you know, what I think of it and how I actually use them because I, I do use them. And this is, you know, what you're seeing right now is sort of uh, one of the ways that you can, that I normally uh, use it for. Um, and um, uh, the way I think of it, and, you know, I'll talk more detailed stuff uh, on that video, but the way I think of it is, it, I think it's a great tool for ideation. And, and also the way I see it is, also, it's almost like I'm, I'm seeing them as sort of the same way that I look at it as a key bashing uh, type of format. 
where I'm not, I'm not really taking the whole image as a whole. I'm, I'm looking at certain elements that I get from the image and see how I can use certain specific elements. So whether it is a light shape or a shadow shape or a texture, a specific texture, or, you know, the bottom half of the image or the top half or, you know, whatever the case may be, but it, I'm looking at it and, and trying to break up the image into pieces that I can actually use to create something. And so that's sort of the main way that I'm, that I'm looking at these images. And so, uh, that's sort of how I've been, how I've been using it so far. Uh, but, but I think it's going to be a, a tool that might be part of the industry in the future. I don't know if it's going to be a good thing or a bad thing. I think it's just going to depend on, on, uh, on the people that actually use it. But, um, but you know, again, that's going to be, uh, time is going to be the judge of that. Um, um, and again, I won't be talking too much about technique here just because, you know, this pretty simple, um, uh, process here. I would do a more detailed video about this stuff later on, but uh, but so far that's sort of my th thoughts on this. Um, but yeah, so we'll let this, uh, play here, uh, to the end of the image here. Um, and I hope you guys, uh, learn something and you enjoy the video. All right, guys, uh, that's it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you, you guys learned something about this new tablet. I think it's a very affordable and a very good option uh, if you wanted to get started or if you're already in the industry. If you like the video, feel free to subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions on the comment section below. I'll see you guys in the next one.